that we've got some potentially industrial or fishing sacks and then lots of microplastics that's either coming from fishing vessels around here locally or potentially coming up from more distant sources. Um, so yeah, a mixture of probably polyethylene um, and then a mixture of then harder, more fragmented plastic. Um, but we've found it's really obvious here that the cold environment and the salt's really making things go brittle and reduce down to smaller and smaller plastic fragments which are harder for us to clean and find um, and will infiltrate in the environment more and potentially be food sources for animals in this region. Um, we did find a really long piece of um, fishing rope which we've put in a, we couldn't unfortunately take it on board the ship because it's so big but we've um, put it in a more sensible place and tried to reduce the risk of entanglement by either polar bears or reindeers or potentially whales. Um, so hopefully the risk will be reduced for these animals. So these are just all the sources we're finding and we are in the middle of nowhere um, with no human beings to be seen but yet we're still finding traces of us right up 77 degrees north in the Arctic Circle so that's pretty scary.